Hi, hello. In this session, we'll just discuss about simple Python data structure. Before going there, let's understand one of the method. It's an inbuilt method which we are going to use extensively in our uh, sessions. That's uh, that's called print. Uh, this method will be used to print anything to the console. Remember this, we are going to use this extensively in all our sessions. Let's start with integers. It's a numeric value. Um, you can represent numeric values with integers. If you say 23, it's an integer. Print 23, 45 is an integer. Also, it's like uh, 45 plus 55, 100 is an integer. So there can be uh, numeric values. Uh, it's a data type. If you want to know what is the data type of any given value, there's an inbuilt method called type. You can use it to know the data type of given value. For example, type 45, it's an int, right? So now let's look into floating point numbers, the float type. Float values are specified with a decimal point, something like 4.5, something like 89.234. It's a float, right? If you print, if you use print method 45.234, it's a float. Python also supports uh, the scientific notation um, like uh, E, that's an exponential value. You can say 23.1 exponential 3. Right? Let's use print method. 23.1 e 3 so scientifically it is 23.1 into 10 to the power of 3 you can use either small letter or capital letter here use type method to know what data type it gives type 4.2 it's a float similarly for exponential notation scientific notation type 4.2 e to the power of 4 it's a float right there is another scientific type called complex numbers which we have used in our engineering uh, generally the complex numbers are specified as i'll use comments to show that real part plus imaginary part j these are the complex numbers right for example it's a 23 plus 4 j it's a complex number uh, you can also try type on this 2 plus 3 j it's a complex right most of the time we are not going to use complex types in our coding until unless we are dealing with scientific related things mathematical related things now let's look into the strings strings are a sequence of character data um, the type is str so anything delimited with double quotes or single quote are called strings for example abc it's a string same thing can be represented as represented with single quote right for example print abc print i'll use double quotes abc both are same a string in python can have any number of characters as you wish it all depends on your uh, system resources so you can also can have an empty string like double quote or single quote there is an empty string right um, what if you want to include either double quote or single quote as part of your string let's try let's notice the behavior print double quote hi how are you it's not accepting same thing let's try with single quote print hi how are you 
is not accepting right so if you want to include double quotes a single quote you need to use escape sequence um, you can use backslash as an escape sequence let's try the same thing print hi backslash double quotes how are you and again double quote so now the double quotes are included same thing applies for single quote as well the backslash or the escape sequence backslash is also used for uh, various other purposes to introduce new line character for example print hi backslash n is a new line character how are you so now the thing is split into two things right similarly there are other characters also we'll know those things later at the same time the escape sequence is also used to break the string into more than one line let's try that print hi my string is not done i'll use escape sequence then i'll try hello still not done i use escape sequence how are you right it's done so now all these three characters has been considered as a single string single line but um there yeah single line there is another thing called uh, triple quoted strings for example here i n t use uh, triple quotes now you can give uh, multiple lines of uh, data here hi hello how are you right all these three lines will be considered as a single string let's move to boolean data types the boolean data type may have either one or two values that's a uh, true or false true false notice that camel case print true print false let's see what is the type it's a boolean right so we use these boolean types in conditions that's it data types are so simple in python keep watching please subscribe to the channel